People aren't getting served. People are getting served food they didn't order, which means the customers who did order it are not going to get it. Devin, the manager, has no idea where she's bringing anything. The beer is going down the drain. The beef is going to wind up in a garbage pail. In the spite of all of this going on, look at them. But how are they doing down there? Fine. What do you want to try, buddy? Want to try the wings? Sure. Definitely want to try the New York steak. A uh, French dip as well. Yeah. What's your favorite drink? I see the, the sneak pitch, and there's another one. Jolly Ranchers are the popular one. Okay. Should we try one of each? See if we yeah, like them? I'm down mm -hmm. with that. All right, that's the New York steak. Um, All right. OK. And that's the French dip. That's very popular here. All right. We should probably toast before we eat this. Yeah. Because we may never live to Absolutely. toast again. It was good knowing you, man. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. OK, what's in this? <laughs> John, I can't lie, man. I think I'm drunk. Oh, my god. I was expecting a completely different taste. And it was just mostly alcohol. And at that point, I can be drunk really quickly. Does that look good to you? I think they could have brought in just a live cow and put it on the table. And I think it would have been about in the same area. Look at this pain. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't recommend this food. You don't? You don't recommend the food. How come? What did you have? So it's sort of like this one. You got to Oh, come on, John. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is not what a French dip is. Oh, John, you got to stop this. <laughs> got the wings here. Yeah, I want to tell you now, John. I'm serious about my wings. I'm very serious about my wings. If these wings are wrong, we may have to leave. <laughs> well, let's see what you got, man. Let's see what you get. <laughs> Man, I don't know how they're gonna spin that. The wings came undercooked. The skin was rubbery. It wasn't breaking off. It wasn't a pleasant thing to have in your hand. Can I ask yep. you a question? Sure. Is there a cook or a kitchen manager or something? I do, yeah. Let me take that to show then and... No, leave this here mm -hmm. and have him come up. Sure, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, that'll, be, that'll be the better part. Ricardo. Yes, sir. A table's looking for you. What table? And it's that guy. The guy? That guy. How you doing? Not too bad. Would you want to eat that? No, sir. Would you want to eat that? No, sir. Why not? It doesn't look appealing. It doesn't look appetizing. Where's Chris, the owner? Is the owner here? Yes, he's here. This is not the experience I wanted John to have tonight. See, this is embarrassing. Why? He's there, bro. Huh? He's sitting right there. Who is? John Taffer. Where? Are you serious, Chris? <laughs> really? Are you that <laughs> Oh, my god. Oh, crap. Here we go. My heart just kind of sank. It was literally just waiting for the explosion to go off. In the middle, bro. Oh, shit. Not good? Holy shit. Been walking around all night, and I didn't see him. Welcome to our very quiet bar. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, crap. So clearly, my blinders are on, right? Hello, I'm John. Hey, John. How are you? Yeah. This is T-Pain, good friend of hey, mine, hey, by the way. How are you, man? Very nice to meet you. T-Pain comes here, orders a steak. No. I order a French dip. Then we go to eat the wings. Look at this. Yeah. No crisp, rubbery. It's not cooked right. Look at this. How was your drink, Pain? <laughs> it's it's sure? just beer alcohol. <laughs> There's not one thing you got right. I got my king's well right. Does losing hundreds of thousands of dollars a smiling matter? No, it's not. Good. So let's get freaking serious here. Look at that. Look at that sandwich. You're fighting with that thing. It's like a piece of leather. So let me ask you a question. Should she pay for that? No. OK, so how is that food at that table down there? Was that good? No. OK, so we're on a roll here. No, so shit. this Stop food it. was terrible. OK, so should she eat this? No. Cop the table. Let's move on down here. How about your food? Was this good? Yeah. It was terrible. Cop this meal. OK, let's keep going, guys. We're on a roll. How was this food? Not good. So look at this one. Let's cop this one, too. You're going to cop every one of these meals. It's your failure, not theirs. Buy their freaking dinner. What I'd like to do is I'd like to send you in alone to do recon, Amy. <laughs> I'd love you to sit at the bar. OK. Order a drink. Mm -hmm. Order some food. And let's see. 
do the employees pay attention to you or not? Do they make you as a woman feel important there or not? Yeah. Because if it doesn't feel right, we got to start there. Okay. Yeah, how can I help you? Come on, you. Um, let me see if I have one back here. So Amy looks like she's sort of fit. She could yeah. be just yeah. another customer. Local. No, no drink. Oh, okay. You don't have a drink menu? No, no drink. Can you make like, um, like a Manhattan? I don't have sweet remove. We got cocktails that are really not targeting women at all. Is this the anti-girl bar? And this is doomed <laughs> to get women in the door. Can I get a gimlet? A gimlet? Yeah. Gimlet is a two-ingredient drink. As simple as it gets. A gimlet is just vodka and some juice, right? Um, it's very nice. Yeah. What's a gimlet again? Huh? A gimlet or a gimlet? Gimlet? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, I don't know how I make a gimlet. Look it up. That's what I do if I can't remember. DJ doesn't know. Now this is the third employee involved in this gimlet, Jason. Oh, so you don't put soda in a gimlet. I want to get something to eat, too. What do you recommend? Um, I like the wings. Cool. I'll get the wings. OK. <laughs> Oh my god, so strong. They have no idea what they're doing. And DJ is just back in the kitchen playing with limes. What are they doing, chef? I, you would think they were splitting the atom with how much work they're putting into this. Look at the cutting board, chef. Cutting board, no gloves. There's raw chicken on his cutting board with his knife, with All his All over towel. his hands. All over the handle. Oh my god. I'm curious where his hands go next. So he's touching chips now with his raw chicken and beef hands. Covered in chicken. And this is all happening right in front of DJ. Oh, man. OK, now he's got chicken all over everything. This is actually yours, so your chicken nachos? Chicken nachos? Uh-huh. He's sending out raw food with that. We got to stop this, chef. Stop! I would not eat that. There's raw chicken all over this. There's raw chicken all over this. There might be raw chicken on your glasses. Let's go check, chef. Where's DJ? Are you DJ? OK, so this guy is taking raw meat all over your hands, right? With raw meat all over your hands, he goes and touches the handle of this. The container's over there. This kitchen is covered in raw chicken and raw meat, and you don't have a f***ing clue what you're doing, and you're watching them. How the f*** does that happen right in front of you? I'm so glad I'm not DJ right now. Why, is he getting his ass handed to him? Can I go see too? Clean your freaking kitchen, and I will come back here tomorrow, and I will teach you how to win. What I hear is that Juan is not dealing with his failure very well. I hear he's rude. Start on those drinks right now, JR. Nasty to his staff. Put, put it down and start on the drinks, OK? And I'm not sure they've been paid. Uh, by all means, jump behind your bar, Juan. Like, help an employee working for free over here. How about that big bottle of juice? Jeez, I've never seen it. It's unbelievable. It's like a wheelbarrow. It's tough to look cool when you've got, like, a clown prop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You come here often? Used to. Used to? Is the food good here? Huh? Is the food good here? Um, Maybe. <laughs> we got a drink. Yeah, I can see. Who's making the Mexican candies? That's next. You're, you're up next, right? Get away your turn. Take you a while to get that? Yeah. It? After a while, I'm going to start drinking your drink. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> Good thing about you want to share your drink with me? Because I'm not getting one. I would... <laughs> OK, sorry about that. Thank you for your patience. What do we have in here? Uh, margarita. <laughs> All right. House. Cadillac, tamarindo, peach, mango, strawberry. Cadillac, strawberry. All right, sounds good. Are we out of tequila? We're out of tequila. Whatever, I don't care, whatever. Currently, we're out of everything, so just use whatever we got, OK? Here we go. Thank you for your patience. Cadillac strawberry. And we're out of shot glasses, so here you go. Use that glass for you. 
Should not be in a margarita glass. Recipe. What do you think, buddy? Mm. Got the flavor, it's got the heat, but too sweet. Okay. Wow, she's actually picking stuff up. <laughs> These aren't mine. These are not yours either? No. How long has that been sitting there? Good, 15 minutes yeah. at least. I'm just saying, look at that table over there, or these guys over here. That money is still I mean, sitting no, there. This one? I don't hear the <laughs> ticket over there. Who put them there? I, not me, I don't know. Are they yours? No, they're not mine. I've seen all I need to see. The service is terrible. The bartenders are all over the place. All Juan does is scream at his employees all night long, so he's not seeing any of this. Let's sit there. I mean, do you want to taste that and tell me if that's right? That's my drink right there. No, it's horrible. Because there's way too much mix in there. It's the wrong glass, right? Right. How's that look over there? Horrible. How about the end of the bar? Bad. Who's supposed to be picking this food up? Because the bartenders aren't. Servers? I don't have any busters, so these well, so, so do they know that? Because you've been walking by. You were standing here making drinks. You didn't pick up his plate. This isn't my beer. It's been sitting in front of me for 20 minutes. This isn't my beer was sitting there. This is not my money. That's been sitting there before I got there, right, Mario? Yeah. I don't understand. Come talk to me. Got it. How long have you been doing this? About a year and a half. Have you owner, been in this as business as before? Owner, as an owner, no. Because it shows. Didn't I just see you get angry at an employee behind the bar? Yes. So is that something you do often? It's, 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 it happens more than it should. Do you think cursing at your employees is going to serve you well? If they're, if they're not going to fight for you and fight for this, you're done. Do you understand that? Oh, I get it. Why is this place failing? I've seen worse locations. I've seen worse kitchen staffs. I've seen worse bartenders. Why are you losing so much money? How are you supposed to soar like an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys sometimes? So they're turkeys. I'm, I, I'm not. Guys. When I ask him why he's failing, he says, because a turkey's like you. Are you kidding? Yeah. Is that the way you phrase it? That's what you said, because oh, a turkey. No, you take certain words that you going to sound No, like that's you. what you said. No, no, no. no. Did okay, you say the, the word no. turkeys? Yes, I did. And were you yes, referring to them? Yes. I, okay, no, so, I here turkeys. we go. No, us turkeys are working for free. For you. What do you mean? Free. Free. We have free. not got paid you for a month. A month? My Oh, I haven't got paid for a month. Free One week. What? So she's lying. So she's a lying turkey. Uh, I guess if that's what you want to call it. You're the one who put the words in those mouths. No, you said turkey no. referring to them. No. I didn't put any words in your mouth. Uh, Don't even try that shit oh, with me. No, no, that no, won't no. work. Yeah. Did you say the word turkey? Yes. Did you say it referring yeah, to them? Have... Yes, I said it. Okay, okay so then shut all... the f up. If you don't pay them tonight, I don't come back tomorrow. Go to the register, pull out the frickin' money, and pay your staff. They don't get paid, I'm gone. Juan called his staff turkeys. Then it comes out that he hasn't paid them. Of course they don't want to work for him. Who's the turkey now? You know how late we're keeping the kitchen open? I have no idea. And there's Mike the chef. Interesting, chef. So they grill the onions, and they really just put a slice of cheese yeah. and some grilled onion on top of the burger. That's it. Now, that's OK if that's the burger that sure. they make. If it's sure. a delicious burger, that's a nice, simple, it could yeah. be delicious. Mm -hmm. Season it properly, I'd eat it. But see any gloves on those hands? No gloves. Raw meat all over his hands. Yep. So let's see where he goes with those hands now that there's raw meat all over him. OK, now he's, let's see, now he's going to oh. pick up a utensil. Oh. There we go. Yeah. From the raw meat to the utensil, okay, so that protein is now all over the handle of the knife and it's all over bread. the bread. Oh. Ew. This is a completely cross-contaminated kitchen. Mm -hmm. Can you do an Irish coffee? Yeah, you got it. And I understand the pineapple margarita is your special drink. Uh, uh, is that what we're doing? That's what she said. Pineapple margarita, do we have jalapenos cut up? No, but I'll go get some. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Oh, there's jalapenos yeah. in it. Yeah. All right, they're actually using shot glasses as units of measurement. They're not using jiggers or bar tools. There's no training here. No. You notice how the whipped cream is falling like that? You know why? He didn't shake it. Mm. Nope. Look at the mess. It's <laughs> all over his hands now. It tastes like water. Pretty hard to make a drink with coffee. <laughs> tastes like water. Coffee's got a pretty strong flavor yes, profile. It's got bold flavor. 
So that's Linda. She's working, isn't she? What? Is she barbacking? Is she man? Is she a manager, a barback, or is she just all hands on deck? I think she's all hands on deck. Okay. She is a manager, but they don't know what their labor cost is, their food cost. Their, so I'm, I'm not quite sure that you could call somebody a manager who doesn't know those things. Well, I don't really know anything pineapple. Is this a pineapple margarita? You should have given you a jalapeno a pineapple the margarita. What did you get? I just don't taste like pineapple, and I don't taste like tequila. Do you don't taste tequila or pineapple? No. I'll fix it. <laughs> You want the prime dip? Yeah, that's prime rib dip. That's what she was recommending. Okay, yeah, it's really good here. I like the half rack of rib. Half rack, half rack? Okay. So, John, I'm just a little confused about Reva. She's not helping anything. No. So either she doesn't know me or she doesn't care. Exactly. She almost seems a little intimidated. Okay, so these are the ribs. When were these made? My goodness. What is the date on these? These are like petrified. No date, no label. Is that mold on those ribs? Ew! That is so Ew. scary. They're like boiled. That's the, that's a silverware caddy. That is a utensil holder. There's meat in there. Oh, that's the oh. prime rib. Oh, God. Oh, that is disgusting. Chef, he can't eat this food. That is no. not servable at all. So we need to find out when that was made. We can't let Justin eat this food. Go in, find out when this is made. Stop this, OK? Right. Yeah, I got it. Hey, I'm one of John's experts, and we were just watching you. Hold on, keep that right there, huh? Excuse me for one second. Ew! Oh, my god! What, what is this? You know this is here. And you're serving this shit? Are you kidding me? I haven't been to work in, in three days, OK? I mean, Mike doesn't even understand what the hell Jason is saying. What are you, what are you? <laughs> Look at this. I want Reva to see this. OK. She's the one who needs to see this. I'll be back. All right. Reva, Linda? Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you both. Come with me. Ask me, why are you mad, John? Ask me. Why are you mad, John? Because you're going to kill somebody. That's why. This guy makes hamburgers with his hands. Then he comes and picks up this knife. Now there's raw meat all over the knife. Rubs his hand on this, there's raw meat all over this. Touches the buns, cuts them with his hand. Raw meat all over everything in this kitchen. This place is completely cross-contaminated. He's responsible in this kitchen, but you're the owner, Reva. You're responsible for him. It's completely illegal. Do you understand that? I'm not going to kill nobody. Yes, you are. Did you put on gloves? Did you wash your hands once? Look at your One time. Look at your I did. I've been watching you for a half hour. This man should not be in here if he doesn't know what he's doing, and he does not know what he's doing. You're such a dick. Let me ask you a question. Are you supposed to wash your hands after you touch raw meat? Yeah. Did you? Yes. You did not. Look on the fucking camera. You bitch. did. I will show you tomorrow. Look on the You're camera. a fucking liar. You're going to kill somebody. Look at this bar. The Christmas lights hanging, guys. I can see why employees call it the dungeon. How bland and just below this community. Go to the kitchen, chef. Yeah. Good sized kitchen. Yeah, set up well. The equipment looks well maintained. I don't understand why all this meat is there. I've never seen a restaurant that cooks before they get the orders. So they're going to cook it ahead, then they're going to hold it? How's that going to be in quality, chef? Just cook it to order. So I'm seeing a lot of waste here. Yeah. Is everything OK down there? A lot of people came in. There's Victor and Laura. Well, you notice, guys, we're not looking at a bar. We're looking at an office. So the two of them buy this bar. So they own the land, they own the building, two and a half million dollar investment, and they're losing $6,000 a month. So they buy this place, they never come here. And when they are here, Victor watches his own bar from a monitor in his upstairs office. Either they're so independently wealthy that they don't give a shit about the $6,000 a month, or something is just completely illogical about the situation. Oblivious. There's them, there's the bar. Alex, look at the foam. So much waste. Oh, jeez. 
20, 30 percent of that beer went down a drain. They're probably losing two to three pitchers just in the first pour alone. It's gonna take five beers to fill it up. So they can't make money. How long would it take you to see that? Immediately, if you're looking. How long would it take you to see that? I mean, seconds. You'd notice it from across the room if you were in the room. Look at them. They have no idea. This makes no sense to me, Jason. Water disconnect. Let's see how their ordering system is. OK, so she's trying to figure out where to go. Hi. Shonda, for Fabian? Fabian, so they, they take customers' names. OK, the quesadilla? Oh, no. Fries? Out of fries? Will that work? So this what isn't Fabian's at all. So where does the quesadilla go? Well, our mess up, but I'll get the nachos. Do you want them? So she just gave it away because okay, they messed up. This is classic rookie restaurant. Somebody ordered a quesadilla who's now not going to get it. Now somebody else is going to say, where's my quesadilla? I give them a quesadilla. Now the next guy doesn't have his. Blow it off now, but it'll be back in three minutes. Oh, yeah, kick the can down the road. It sets off a chain reaction. It just screws every guest at that bar. I don't know what they're cooking this for. And then how long on those wings? The uh, buffalo. How's that going to be in quality, chef? It, it just diminishes. I mean, you know, why Why do it? You have this great kitchen. I mean, this is meant for your kitchen at home, not in a commercial setting. It's a hot plate, OK? OK. Food does not look that awful. It does look microwave, though. That's an after school special. <laughs> kind of chewy. Here's some, some of the brown. <laughs> so people aren't getting served. People are getting served food they didn't order, which means the customers who did order it are not going to get it. Devin, the manager, has no idea where she's bringing anything. The beer is going down the drain. The beef is going to wind up in a garbage pail. And in spite of all of this going on, look at them. But how are they doing down there? Fine. They got their computer going. They got their little boxes going. Once they look at it on that computer, it's too late. They can't fix it anymore. But they can fix it downstairs. They're losing money literally right below their nose. That's John Telfer. And did he come in? Whose beer is that? It's mine. I haven't tasted it. Is it right? Is it cold? Because it looks a little flat. doesn't look right, is it? They ordered margarita. You ordered a margarita. And I sent it back. And you sent it back. So now you got a beer. Drink Who's a beer drinker here? Come here, you're a beer guy. Try this. Is that, is that right for you? A little flat. You notice when she pours a beer, 30% of it goes down a drain. Where are the owners, he said. Have you guys seen the owner? Have you guys seen the owner? That's not the bartender. Has she seen the owner? He's going to come barging in here. Where the hell is the owner? Oh, He's going to come barging in here. Hey, come here. Back to the door. You're just going to make it piss off more. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm OK. Have you seen what's going on downstairs? I have. So did you notice them dumping beer down the drain? I did. Did you notice the food going to the wrong tables? Well, no. You're losing about $6,000 a month, right? Correct. Correct. Do you like giving away $75,000, $80,000 a year? I don't. We always intended for it to run well. We got in over our heads or something. So you're failing? Yes. Totally. So when you're yeah. failing at something, do you pull away from it? Or do you go into it? And you should go into it. But you're not. I can't turn this around, Victor, for you to sit up here as it's failing down there. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.